Right. Okay. okay. Did you bring your candy? Hey, I did. I snuck it in beside the ushers. They didn't see me. I got my well, dad's. I, <laughs> <laughs> I got the popcorn. Oh, you got the popcorn. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's yeah. good. You that's know, I, how many times now have we seen that Pirates of the Caribbean oh. movie? Yes, and, and this, this is probably our tenth time. Oh, and I'm so excited. Yes. Johnny Depp. Oh, oh, he's so cute. And he's got these tights he wears. Oh, that's got to hurt. And then he's got, he's got this, this beautiful goatee and the cute little mustache. And you wonder how it must feel when he kisses her. <laughs> it's, like, it's like going through a bunch of brush into a picnic. <laughs> We gotta find seats around here. Oh, oh, that looks exciting. It's great. Holy cow! This is gonna be a really good show. Yeah, I with such so. a big screen, right? You know, right. I look yeah. at the crowd in here. Yeah, this, everybody wants the to see pirate pirate I ever saw. Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. or is it the Caribbean, yeah. or what is yeah. it? Yeah, we're looking for a seat. To this yeah, movie. yeah, the we movie. see seats right the movie? here. The movie. What movie are you looking for? Pirates, pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. I think you might be in the wrong theater. This is a performance, a live performance of High School Singers. Okay. What? Yeah. Singing? Not, not Pirates of the Caribbean. Sorry. Well, that's okay, right, Bobby? Yeah. We're very flexible. Well, he looks a very like flexible. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And so, hey, would that help us stay around and get into this show? Well, I could usually be private with Dots, but see, we get this. High school agenda? Yeah? You're a little older than they are. But we oh. sing well. We well, sing well. Well, I appreciate that you yeah. sing well. In fact, yeah, I'll let we, you sing really, really well. We, we really but, do. But, but it's high school. And That's high school. We are sure high school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. look, look at yeah. us. Look at right. We can right. sing. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. There's choreography. Uh, do not make me happy. Excuse me. are great. Really, I, I have to ask you. See, we're about ready to start the show here. Oh, good. And well, yeah, we'll just no, stay no, right no, back. No, 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 no. Yeah. You can't do that because that's for the high school students. That's where they're going to be. So I have to ask you to please sit out in the audience with the rest of our audience and watch the show and enjoy the high school performers. Are you saying well, we can't sing as good as we sing? You won't let us sing? I can't let you sing with the high schoolers. That's correct. Well, okay. <laughs> We'll concede to this this thing here that you're making us not stay. Thank you. And we're not very in fact, but we'll be back. I was afraid of that.
beautiful way to start our evening. Um, in barbershop, we have a one clap tradition as we introduce our judges. So I'll say their name, and we'll give them one clap, and we'll go to the next one. So we're going to learn a little bit about our judges as the evening goes on. But I'd like to tell you that they were the first barbershop quartet to ever sing on NBC to sing off, and they made it all the way to the semifinals uh, round. And so that was an amazing accomplishment, and we're very, very proud of them. How about a hand for that? And as I wave my hand out in front of myself, I realize I'm not talking into the mic, and you can't hear a darn thing I'm saying. I'll fix that, I hope. All right, so um, from Annapolis, Maryland, singing lead in Max Factor, Leslie Wooday Shainar. Maryland singing tenor, Molly Dalton Plumber. <laughs> From Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, singing baritone, Don Clifford Adams. <laughs> well, you guys are really good. It took the other audience three times to get that down to one clap. All right. From Joplin, Maryland, singing bass, Valerie Hatfield Grant. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Max Becker, for serving as our competition judges. We're ready and waiting. Wait. Testin number one. Representing Nakusa High School under the direction of Bill Seiple singing And So It Goes by Billy Joel. Please give a rousing Central Wisconsin welcome to Cedar Street Sound.
here. We're very glad they're here, right? I'd like to introduce their director, this is Mr. Bill Seipel. So why don't we all close down around the microphone a little bit and we'll get to know our judges a little bit better. Um, let's see. Why don't we hear from you first? Leslie is a two-time Queen of Harmony. For those who don't know what a Queen of Harmony is, that's an international championship quartet member. Um, and that must have been a very exciting time for you. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. The first time I won was in Atlanta, Georgia, and the second time I won was with these ladies in Seattle, Washington. Um, Sweet Adelines takes you all over the world, and it's, it's a great experience. And I'm so happy that we could be here to share in your first experience in singing. Thank you very much, Leslie. Well, Molly, uh -huh. I understand that you have, uh -huh, I'm writing already. Um, I understand that you have created choreography for both flag twirlers and synchronized swimmers. Could you talk about that a little bit, how that works together? Sure. Well, where I grew up in Ohio, um, we have a lot of synchronized swim teams. I don't know if everybody knows what that is. It's water ballet. Yeah. Like I know. <laughs> so you have to have really good stomach muscles for that. Um, but so I did that in high school. And then also I choreographed a lot of um, marching, high school marching bands, uh, flag teams. And also I choreographed for the Baltimore Colts marching band flag line and the Baltimore Ravens marching band flag line. <laughs> Dawn has been uh, musically around the world. She is an opera singer. She's also a barbershop singer. She also sang an alternative rock band. So Dawn, can you tell us a little bit about how the three of those fit together? <laughs> uh, they don't, but... <laughs> 25 <laughs> Um, I think the placement for um, opera and then the placement for singing in a rock band, if you meld them together, it gives you the barbershop sound. Are you, are you talking about the, the vocal placement? Yeah. Yeah, the vocal placement. But, you know, every experience makes you learn, and every experience makes your ear better, and so keep learning. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Valerie. Valerie is a self-proclaimed barbershop brand. Yes. Would you like to tell us what a barbershop brat is, please? Uh, actually, both my parents were in it. Uh, my mother was a spit out line, and my dad was a director. Um, he joined in 61. He directed a chorus for 13 years. So I grew up um, being around men's barbershop harmony 24-7, listened to Boston Common, the sun tones. Just, it was just amazing to me. So um, it was kind of going to happen eventually, I think, of going to all the late night times and hanging out in the rooms and singing tags all night and, and singing songs. And, so it was just something that was probably ine inevitable <laughs> in, in my, for me. Well, we're glad you're doing it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Leslie, let's get you back on the microphone. And what do you have to say to our group? Well, for we had a show this afternoon. <laughs> you guys <clears throat> have done some work between shows, which is wonderful. Um, I Male solo, great job. I loved it. Female solo, great job. Loved it. But when you look at your audience, go slowly from section to section. Don't go so quickly, because then we, we feel like we don't, we're, we don't matter to you. So just a little slower when you look at people. Um, I'd still like more cups. See the cup that you have now? I'd like to see that versus the flat, only because you can hear across. You can hear where each section is going. But Phenomenal change from this afternoon to now. Thank you. Molly, would you like to share your thoughts, please? <laughs> I want to tell you that it was such, what an improvement. I mean, you all had me convinced that you were all singing about the same, th same thing, that you all felt like you were, your heart was in it, and the solo was awesome. And I'm just really happy that that we um, got a chance to work with you earlier today. Well, whoever did got a chance, but I'm, tell I'm telling you, you all, your faces were all phenomenal. 
if y'all haven't figured it out yet, not only is this a, a competition experience, but between shows, it's also a chance for them to get a little bit of coaching from the people who have had the comments to share with them about how they can improve. So then they not only got to share the comments, but do a little bit of teaching as well. So it's been a wonderful day for us so far. Don, can you add to what Leslie and Molly have said? I agree. Um, I, I wrote down that I was happier with your standing setup. I like that one much better. Um, I enjoyed that you put dynamics in. So it wasn't as um, one note. We had, we had some dynamic change, which was really great. Um, I wrote down that you all seem to really like the song, so it translates well to us as your listeners. Um, and so I, was, I thought it was great. You did a great job. Thank you. And Valerie, your thoughts, please. So proud. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, Valerie, where you went there, Coach. Yeah, uh, you guys were great. You really, you really kind of were like sponges and really took, took in some of the stuff that we talked about. Solos were great. You know, it's something to work on, obviously. We, if I lived closer, I'd be coming every day. I'd be like, okay, that's what we're going to do today. Um, but definitely a solo was great. It had to feel better. I mean, did it feel good for you guys? Did the way you guys stood, certainly, I think, more in a group. Um, love the, the, the alto split. Love that. I think it evens out the blend. Do you see? See? I think I know I'm doing a little bit. It's a little bit, though. That's right. There, there you go. You do. You really do. So I think it really helps doing that. But um, I thought overall it was great. I, I loved it. And I think keep working. It's those little baby steps that once you keep putting that stuff together, that the end result is going to be really big things and you'll be really happy with what you have. Okay. Thank you all very much for your comments. Okay. And now, let's get your score. Shall we? Um, Leslie. A seven. And Molly, an eight, 15, and Dawn, a seven for 22, and Valerie, another seven for a total of 29 points. Congratulations, that's an excellent point. Now, as the audience, uh, you have the opportunity tonight to help our judges determining who the winning com <laughs> contestant will be. If my plate and I can talk. Um, and so, the, on the ticket stuff that you've got, you've got to find a place for a name and an address, and that is your voting ticket. So, as you go through the evening, you're, you're going to find that your vote counts for half of the total score of our competitors. So, as you find the group that you really like, be sure that you get out into the lobby and vote for them during the intermission. Ready to wait for contestant number three. Number two. <laughs> Wally has a little trouble with math. All right, representing Assumption High School in Wisconsin Rapids, under the direction of Julie Stoffel, singing Hernando's Hideaway from the Pajama Game, Let's please give a rousing Central Wisconsin welcome to Default.
Way to go. Good job. All right, let's get right to our judges and see what they have to say. Molly, how about we begin with you? That was really great. You guys can come you on up. Really up sold it. I'm so excited because you, I mean, just the few moves that you put in, you seemed like you were really selling the song and telling us the story. So I'm really proud of you. And the sound is great. Thank you, Molly. Dawn, your thoughts? Um, I thought that uh, from this, this afternoon to this evening, your balance went much better. You can tell that you were working a little bit because you, you gave a good foundation to the bottom for the rest of the, of the group, so it just kind of set it all up for everybody, which was nice. You have a very smooth and pretty voice. I like it. Um, you're very talented, so I like you better. Um, <laughs> um, and no, and I just love the great performance. I love the faces. I like the choreo. Um, like the story. I, I, all in all, I said much, much better. Thank you. Valerie, you like to teach selling a song. What would you tell our quartet? I would say um, great choreo, great facial expressions. Um, I like the, the confidence of which you uh, told the story in the song. Um, great bass pickup, because you know I like bass better. Just so you know. <laughs> no, no, I thought it was great. Um, I noticed the difference too, how you came out and how you approached the microphone, which I think was really great. Um, but just the overall confidence of the quartet was like night and day from this afternoon to today. So I think great job, keep it up. Thank you. Yep. And Leslie, you enjoy coaching and commenting on musical expression, different than the visual expression. Can you talk a little bit about that? Much to, it's command of stage, and you you have that tonight. That what that nece wasn't necessarily there this afternoon. Um, you walked out more confident. You walked up to the mic more confident. You got that bottom in a heartbeat. I wrote nice walk on. I did write remember to breathe. Don't run away. Don't let the song run away with you. Um, and I wrote, it's a completely different quartet than we saw this afternoon. You guys rocked it. The unit's better. You, you supported each other. I mean, you, there's a trust factor when you're singing and you broke it down this afternoon and found out what you needed to do and fixed it and trusted that each one of you in that half an hour, I mean, they didn't have much to do. And in that half hour time, you didn't, you didn't kill each other and, and no. <laughs> or any of us, that's right. So commend it. Job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I did neglect to introduce their director, Julie Stop. Okay, and we are ready for our judges' scores. Molly, your score. You got an 8.8, .8, which I round off to a 9. Okay, a 9, excellent. Dawn, a 9, excellent. Valerie, an 8. Okay, we are at 18.26. And Leslie, another 8. We are at 34 points, an excellent score. Great job. a wonderful, wonderful job. We're very glad. We will be back momentarily. Just 
Well, I did figure that out. That's just what you need. That's a pretty good imitation. I know. I know. But, but still, no, no matter how good you are, you're still not a high school. Well, we have our own high school. Yeah, it's high the AARP Senior High School. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Hey, we may need to work with that, but um, I, I, I don't think we can work with that this year. But I do have an idea. I, I have a thought as to how you guys could help me out, if you would, please. If you consider I'm helping me. Bobby, that he always gives us these other I suggestions. I know. This right around. All it would, all, we could stand Listen. way in the back of the stage right. and just sing behind the groups. And I we guarantee you they hear us. Yes. I guarantee you they would. All right, so I'll tell you what, this is what I would like you to do, if you would be oh, willing to help me, please. You're a nice okay. guy, I suppose. Yeah, I can help you out. Yeah. Um, this is our first attempt at doing this competition with our high schoolers, and, yeah. and really? we could really use someone to sit in the audience and kind of critique what we do and help us out with things that we might be able to do better next year. Okay. Would you guys be willing to do that for me and meet with me after the show and, and share your thoughts, and then maybe next year, we might be able to expand it to include the AARP. Senior high school. Senior, high school. yes, that would be the word. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, we'll be back. Okay. For next year. Okay. We'll That's just because you're that. a nice. Well, we can help you out. Yes. Okay. We have a lot it's, of experience. You're a nice guy, so we'll Thank just you very go much. with that. Yeah. Thank you, Wally. I appreciate the help. <laughs> you are, are we ready in the wings? <laughs> Contestant number three this time. This would be good. That means I gotta find the right car, doesn't it? All right, here we go. Representing the Pittsville High School under the direction of Tim Delney, singing for the longest time by Billy Joel, the Pittsville High School Show Choir. Please give them a rousing welcome.
Kids Still Show Choir. Nice job, everybody. Tim, good job. Congratulations. Um, and now to our judges. Don, would you, what would you like to share? Oh, boy. Um, I, I, I'd love to share. No, Senator Solo again, fabulous, awesome. We love you. Um, I liked that you were up closer to the microphone. It made it better for us to hear the ensemble. You looked like you had more energy and you were having fun. It actually looked like you were having fun, so that was a good thing. Um, big deal. I'm glad that you moved the solo down. I think it sounded better for us as listeners. Um, I think that um, the nice dynamic, dynamic at the end and the new ending was really pretty cute. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was fun. <laughs> Yes, they did. Yeah. Yes, boy, yes. No. Um, I put, see, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? You tell you have teenagers, right? Um, I put Corey was awesome, uh, good solo, more confident, background singers were great, uh, great sound, good faces, uh, solos all much better, huge improvement, really came to the mic confident, um, and the background singers were great, and I love, I love the choreo, the little doo-wah, I love that, that was fantastic. Um, it's amazing what a little bit, just that little bit of tweaking can do and change your whole confidence level and a huge improvement. Thank you. Thank you. I really like that when the, when the choral group responds with a thank you to the judges. That's a good thing. I like that. Um, Molly. No, Leslie. <laughs> Give me a second, Molly. I'll get there yet. Leslie, what would you have to say? I thought it was a 100% turnaround from what they did this afternoon. It was awesome. <laughs> could you hear yourself better cupped? Yeah. And you can hear the other people on the other side. Yeah. How about you, basses? You sounded a little better this afternoon. I mean, a little better tonight than you did this afternoon. OK, good. Yay. I just thought it was a great, it was a, um, yeah, a great hit. and. Thank you for allowing me to uh, work with you just ever so little this afternoon. I mean, it was a blessing. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Leslie. Molly, now it's your turn. <laughs> visually, <love> you. <laughs> on top of what everybody else had to say visually, yes, what would I, you like to add? I love the choreo. I love the uh, uh, tenor solo. <clears throat> At the end. <laughs> God. Um, the only thing I would say is um, careful not to out-sing your, your uh, soprano soloist because you guys were really loving in the back. You were just loving yourselves back there, and it was great. You were. I mean, you were having such a great time, and it showed. Um, that's the only thing I would, yeah. Yeah, try to make that, that balance. I mean, if she's going to sing soprano, she's going to be softer, so maybe tone it down for her, her part. Um, do some more dynamic. What else? Let's see. Um, these girls were, were a little bit more swingier this side than this side. So make sure you're matching. You want, visually, you want to mirror each other. Yeah, it's good to get in front of mirrors, but yeah, I, I loved it. I loved it. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. And now we are ready for your scores. Dawn, a seven, and Valerie, an eight for 15, and Leslie. Nine, all right, we are at 24. Molly, the pressure's on. An 8.7, which rounds off to a nine in my book, right? So what is it, we are at 24, that puts us at 33, right? I add that up right? All right, good deal. Congratulations. So, whichever of the groups happens to be your favorite, and happens to be Pistol, be sure that you put your vote into their box during the intermission so that they get that fair, fair count. Uh, we are ready and waiting for defense number four. All right, very good. Representing P.J. Jacob Jr. High from Stevens Point, under the direction of Luke Adson, singing Happy by Pharrell Williams, Please give a rousing Central Wisconsin welcome to the Patriot Singer.
Wonderful job, everyone. Wonderful job. Luke, you coming? <laughs> Luke Anson, their director. <laughs> Judges, we're looking for your comments for our clan crew. And Valerie, would you lead off with this group, please? I love you. I'm so happy. <laughs> You're so happy. Great, much more fun, I thought, in this set. Um, more confident, way better. Um, I would say work on your rhythm a little bit. Don't let it get, don't let it get away from you. A um, little bit of notes, just that little part we were working on uh, this afternoon. Um, cup, make sure we cup, which is awesome. And I thought you had a great ending. I'd love when you guys come out and just take the stage and get the whole audience involved. And I think that's, that's for me, the bottom line is really get that, that audience participation and involvement. So I think you guys had a lot of fun and it definitely showed today. Tonight. Thank you. And then, Thank you, Valerie. Leslie. I love you that, that last move you guys put in. You didn't do that this afternoon. That's cool. Val said you did it on your own. Yay. Um, the cup. Still need that cup. You got the line, but you didn't cup enough to hear where you guys were going as you, you know, together. Go together. Um, but you know, that's easy stuff. You guys have accomplished so much today, and I'm so proud of you. Thanks for sharing it with us. Thank you. Molly, what are your thoughts for our Patriots singers? Hi, guys. I thought you did awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I just put the same thing that Leslie said about cupping to make it help with your tuning. Um, I love that the audience participated with your clapping. It was great. That's what it's all about, right? Um, I love the movement because it really brought excitement to the song. Movement. Um, I was thinking as I was watching, um, I love our dancer. What I thought would be really cool as for me as a visual person watching is to have like maybe one or two more dancers out there, because, um, I don't know, it just seemed to be such a big group. I just thought that, if you can do that, I don't know, but, is everybody, is anybody else a gymnast in there? <laughs> oh, baby. Anyway, I mean, you can come up with a dance, just, you know, something, even just like three or four people can come up and do it, and uh, I mean, that, that would add to the visual, I think. Anyway, great job. Thank you. Thank you. Don, um, you get the final words of the evening for our no. contestants. Um, no, I thought you had great energy. You seemed a lot more engaged with the song and with the audience, so that made it better for us as watchers. Uh, still, I love the fact that the guy in the back by himself is able to hold it down the way he can. It's pretty awesome. Um, pretty awesome. We have another boy. You were here this afternoon. Were you here this afternoon? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I just loved it. I had, I had a very good time. It was enjoyable. Uh -oh. um, what I was thinking about with the extra people was to make it more like kind of a party circus kind of effect. I don't know. Towards the end, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay, never mind. You just didn't Carry want on. to have the last word, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I believe we are ready for your score. Valerie, Valerie is an eight. Leslie, an eight for 16. Molly, another eight for 24. Noel, a nine for 33. Excellent score, everybody. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I think this has been a fabulous competition. I hope that all of you have enjoyed it as much as we have putting it on. Our thanks to Max Factor for judging our competition and to our terrific competitors for being here and their directors for participating with us. Now, it is time for you to make your decision as to who is your favorite group. Um, part of your ticket that has a space for your name and address is also your vote. Um, it also enrolls you in the door prize drawing, and so if you're interested in the draw door prize, please be sure to include your name and address. If you just want to vote, we'd love to have your name and address, but it's your choice. Um, let's see. We also have some free gift certificates and Max Factor CDs to give away. And let's see. The voting will take place during the admission, which is going to start in just a moment. 
But before we do, oh, and you can vote in the, you can vote in the box out in the lobby, or some of their representatives will be coming here into the auditorium, and you could place your vote in here. But before we do that, let's, um, oh, just to remind you, bookkeeping, you know. Um, that's why I have my note cards, so I don't forget something. Yeah. Um, while you're in the lobby, please take a look at all of the items that are there for our silent auction. Your bid for the silent auction helps um, our chorus with, with their assistance of the, uh, of the Breast Care Fund at Ministry St. Michael's. So that's part of the contribution. So the more you give, the more they can give. And so if you're, uh, if you're interested in helping us out with that, that would be awesome. You'll also find Max Factor CDs for sale. And uh, you'll want to check it all out, and we'll see you back here for the second half. Um, the intermission would be about 15 minutes long. Now, let's bring out representatives of today's performers, please. Nakusa High School. Assumption High School. Pittsville High School. And I would like you to give a very warm and rousing welcome to Dream Ride.
Molly's my little sister. I'm Andrea. I see Faith. Joanne is Kathleen's little sister, and Joanne sings to me. Um, one of the difficult things about being in a quartet is you have to find four people who can actually agree on things. And we are actually very lucky because we've been able to find three. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a different fourth one every time the issue comes up that someone doesn't agree. But because we're sisters, we're used to just ignoring each other well enough that we just go on whether that fourth person agrees or not. So our next song is um, not a real popular song, but it was written by an American songwriting icon, Hoagy Carmichael, in the 1940s, and made a little bit popular in the 1980s musical by Bette Midler called For the Boys. And it's about the drummer who lived upstairs.
Centerpoint Chorus was founded in 1975, and for 40 years, they've been bringing their love of barbershop harmony to the community here in Stevens Point. And um, they want to just take a moment to thank all of you for coming here tonight to, to help them in their support of encouraging young singers, and also in their, in their support of, of helping those who are challenged with breast cancer. And so we're very, very glad that you're here. And with that, would you please give a warm, rousing Central Wisconsin welcome to the Center Point Chorus.
Better play it for her. Um, for all of you women in the audience of any age, if you suddenly find yourself with a hankering for a love barbershop singing, we have an opportunity for you. The Center Point Chorus is inviting you to join them in a Christmas chorus to just go around Stevens Point area and sing Christmas carols. And they're going to start rehearsals for that on Tuesday night of this coming week. The rest of the information is in your program. And we'd love to have you come and join. And uh, maybe we should just wet the whistle with a Christmas tune. against 16, 18, 20 folks in the other groups. That was a pretty remarkable finish. They have sung on the live sing-off tour, and they won the coveted title of Sweet, International, Sweet Adeline's International Queens of Harmony in 2011. They can also be heard singing the national anthem for the Baltimore Orioles. Today, they will bring their championship style to our stage. Please give a rousing Central Wisconsin welcome to Max Factor. Hey! 
dollars in food and stuff. But I, we've experienced some really neat things here, and I'm excited tomorrow because we're going to be going to our first Culver experience. this afternoon and certainly tonight. It's just so much so great to see um, the high school guys get into acapella. Not just barbershop, but just acapella in general. It's such a great, great, fun hobby, um, which leads us into about five years ago, uh, we had an opportunity to be on a brand new show called The Sing Off for NBC. And it was basically just to promote acapella. I mean, just to kind of raise that bar and get awareness out to the country and, and the world of acapella singing. And uh, so we tried out, uh, made it one of eight, to LA for about three weeks, uh, sang on the Warner Brothers studio, which was a really exciting experience. We learned some really fun and different arrangements, not really barbershop, but just fun in general. And uh, we'd like to sing one of those songs for you now.
kids um, all over the world. This audience here in Wisconsin, did I say that right? Wisconsin. <laughs> well, you are the most recent. <laughs> yeah. So, so this next song, it was actually made famous uh, in a movie. It was sung by Katie Lang. Um, it was in a, I think it was a Disney movie. It was um, called Home Alone. <coughs> and it's a really fun song. And it kind of reminds me, because this is considered Midwest out here, correct? Midwest, right? Wisconsin, okay. I'm just checking. I'm, I'm not really good at geography. So I'm just going to go that way. Uh, no, we're what? More north. We're more north. <laughs> and Ms. North, you're confusing me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> um, it's a familiar song. You might want to hum along. You might want to even sing along. But really don't, because it totally screws up our baritone. Don't. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> I mean, even though we, we weren't 
still played a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So um, here we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs>
Thank you, Max Factor. Thank you very much for a wonderful evening. Uh, can we have our announcers out for our door prizes and our silent auction, please? You noticed there was a mass exodus a little bit ago? Well, they're all positioned backstage. We'll do this. Okay. For the $25 Hyde Music gift card. Okay, Mary, draw one. Come on, Mary. Stand up, Mary. That is Diane Baker. And you may pick up your prize in the lobby immediately after the show. And for the Max Factor CD. There goes the bottom. Oh, yes. Ingrid. Ingrid Nexberger. And for the two tickets to next year's show. Jackie Bromstad. Congratulations to Joanne Crassett, who had the, the, uh, bet, the most bid on the John Morser original print. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And the Hardinger Breast Cancer Ribbon, handcrafted by Shirley Shaw, was won by Jan Meisner. Thanks, Jan. And the Quilted Breast Cancer Awareness Bag and the packet of fat quarters that was donated by Antoinette's quilt shop in Plover is Joanne Casselt. 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 She used to sing with us. Okay. <laughs> that one. <laughs> uh, for the Miss Bobby B necklace and earring set that was handcrafted by Bobby Bowen, who is part of our course also, as was Shirley, that was Tim Delaney. trail camera donated by Sheila Tang and Gander Mountain. That was Rod Haith. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. We appreciate that very much. We have just a little bit of housekeeping that we need to take care of while our singers finish gathering and getting ready behind the curtain here. Um, don't want that one because that's already happened. Somebody already want that. Um, there we go. Remember. <laughs> Remember. And I will too. There are Max Factor CDs for sale in the lobby after the show. Be sure to take home some of their terrific acapella harmony. And finally, there is an afterglow this evening. Uh, it will be at the Moose Lodge immediately following the show. I would guess that's going to start at about 10.15. It'll be some terrific music and uh, some great food, so you won't want to miss that. And uh, directions and those kinds of things are in your program. Now, for the moment that you've all been waiting for, please welcome all of our competitors one more time.
Cedar Street Sound. And in third place, with a score of 51 points, the Pittsville Swing Choir. Should say show choir. In second place, with a judges' score, I'm sorry, total score of 58 points, the Patriot Singers. sponsored by Thriving Financial for Lutherans with an amazing score of 81.9 points. Default! Just to thank the folks that are responsible for making all of this happen tonight. Um, our script director, Chris Sharwitz. Chris, are you here? Maybe not. Anyway, thank you for the applause for her. Um, our young high school singers, Laurel Haith and Bobby Bowen. <laughs> our stage manager, Wally, Walter Harris. Mike Peplinski. Thank you. Um, our show chairman, Karen Erickson. Wendy Franklin. And Kathleen Harris. And of course, all of our chorus members have pitched in wherever necessary and done all of the things that needed to be done, including ticket sales and contacting of, of, of choirs and all those things. And we'd also like to thank the many members of the Peplinski family who have pitched in absolutely wherever necessary. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Special thanks to our guest quartets, Dream Ride. that are built while our singers are learning to sing together and learning to sing as one unit, learning to become friends and, and co-workers and supporters of each other. And tonight and this whole weekend was really about that far more than the competition itself because between times they got a chance to work with some of the best in the country, Max Factor, and the difference between this afternoon and this evening, their director is going to test to it as well as you can. So we thank you all very, very much for that. Um, we would like to close with a very, very special number that we're all going to sing together up here on stage, that good old a cappella.
said the Wisconsin Sings a cappella. We'll see you at the Afterglow, and if not at the Afterglow, we'll see you next year for sure. I'm Roger Harris, wishing you a very good night, and may God bless you all. Woo!